How's it going, y'all? Requiem Pug here, Rec for short, and welcome to the third video of my PVM series KBD. I want to apologize for the long break between my last video. My plan was to record my entire progress on leagues, but lost the first week due to a wedding. By the time I got to hop on, everyone was leagues ahead, pun intended. You'll be seeing a lot more from me this year. With that said, let's get started with today's video. We'll be using a range setup for the first 500 kills, just using some cheap blessed dehyde to protect our gear. For those of you that don't know, the lair to KVD is located in semi deep wilderness close to the Chaos Altar. Using this setup and protect from item will ensure that we only risk 300k each death. I'll be using sharks as my main food source and I'll be bringing a looting bag to help bank items. By leaving KBD's lair, you can store items you don't need before jumping back in for more kills. We'll be starting with 85kc and ending with 1085kc. As you can see, I already have two KBD heads, but nothing else. With that said, let's go ahead and get started. Guys, I already know you'll be saying, how could I have possibly messed up recording this again? Man, I don't know. I hate to say it, but it turns out the third time was not the charm. Let's just move on without mentioning this again, and hopefully I get it right the next time. On the topic of killing KBD, I wasn't feeling too confident at the beginning because he was really spreading my bagel. However, I found out it was much easier to just stand next to him and protect from melee, and let your anti-fire shield and pot do the work. I felt like this actually helped minimize the damage I was taking and increase my trip length. I wasn't burning through as much food as I was at the beginning, which would no doubt help our bottom line. Feeling a lot more confident with how the kills were going with this new strat, I was prepared to have a really calm time with grinding out KBD. However, with that said, y'all can probably guess what's about to happen next. I'll let the video play out so y'all can laugh at me. Within the first 10 KC, I died at KBD. Honestly, super embarrassing that it happened on stream. For those wondering what's happening, I forgot to pop back up and took more damage from the fire breath than I should have. With that said, this marks the first death at KBD. You'll have to stay tuned to see if there's more. If watching an idiot die to basic boss mechanics sounds like a good time, make sure to join me at www.twitch.tv slash requiempug. Hope to see you there. With that said, let's gear up and get back to it. I know many people will think I'm being ridiculous, but me and noted logs go a long way back. They actually made me quite a bit of money in Giant Mole, so I'll be picking these up and hoping I make some good money here too. Here we are with kill 171, dropping us a Dragon Med Helm. At a rate of 1 in 128, we are actually just under the drop for this. It is unfortunately one of the more rare drops at KBD. I've been hearing from a lot of people that unless you're going for the pet, killing KBD just isn't worth your time with other better money makers. You'd have better luck and a rate of return learning a more profitable boss. However, a scrub like me should feel right at home here. Who knows, maybe if I bop KBD enough times, he'll drop me an axe or a pet. And not these fire runes I have no intention of picking up, but here we are 100kc in. 14 kills later, we get this little nifty drop of 45 death runes. This should be our first hit on the rare drop table, unless that dragon medhelm was actually the first one, but I guess we'll never know. What's funny? is that the very next kill, we got the death rune drop again. RuneScape just does whatever it wants at this point. For this next clip guys, I just had to leave it unedited because I can't believe it happened. In the middle of showing stream my second client, the seaweed run, we ended up getting the visage. At only about 150 kills into our grind, I know some people are probably punching the air right now. I have no idea how to even explain this kind of luck. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to keep looking because here we are with a dragon pickaxe drop. With the visage being 1 in 5k and the pickaxe being 1 in 1k, I should play RuneScape more in bed because it's obvious they are spooning me right now. It's crazy enough that it's happened so close together and so early at the beginning of our grind because here we are only 200kc in. 300 more kc before I switch to a melee build to compare. I went ahead and tried to pick up all the runes I could that weren't the fire runes so I could have a good accurate count at the end. Here I am with no food trying to tempt fate. And guess what? I lost. 
Goodbye, Dragon Javelin Head Drop. Oh, hello, Dragon Javelin Head Drop. You guys may have noticed that the video has finally been fixed. That's because OBS didn't corrupt these recordings. Unfortunately, my good luck doesn't last the entire video, because we'll still be using some Twitch VODs later on. While being on the topic of Twitch here, due to work, I haven't been able to stream as much as I'd like to recently. I have really missed you guys, and I'll be making it my priority to start streaming more again, even if it's just a couple of hours to hang out with everyone. I love making these videos, but I also love scaping with everyone as well. Here we are guys, 300 KC in. KBD's drop table isn't really the greatest, though you can get all three types of dragon fletching materials at a pretty decent rate. The arrow tips, dart tips, and javelin heads are all 1 and 25.6. There's really not too much in terms of making tons of GP. Really, the only things that can make you money are the visage and the pickaxe. Your time would honestly be better grinding out the cash to just buy them in the GE. Unless you're an Iron Man, then welcome to your home for the next good bit. Even then, if the pickaxe is what you're going for, unless you get lucky like I do right here, there are loads of better options to get one dropped. Actually, KBD is the worst chance you can get. The only thing going for it is that his lair isn't in Wilderness, even though getting here is. You can use the Burning Amulet Telly to the Lava Maze and it drops you close to where it is. You're more than welcome to try your luck here, and ladies and gentlemen, lucky is what we got because at only 407 KC in, we've got the pet drop. If people were mad at the fact that I've gotten two pickaxe drops at barely a quarter of the rate, here's even more of a reason to get angry. But then I go here almost accidentally dying right after getting him. Prince Philip, you're gonna go in the box. Here we are at the halfway point of our 1000 KC. I'll be switching to a melee build to finish our video. I used some of our giant mole earnings to buy a dragon hunter lance, and I'll be using proselyte armor to keep our risk down. While the kills might end up going a little bit slower, using proselyte armor will actually keep our risk to only about 141k. Though honestly, the only people that I've actually seen were people trying to get to the chaos altar, and anyone that's PKing is probably already there. When it comes to wilderness videos, I'll make sure to include any deaths from PvPers. Even though I've had about 85kc before this, this is actually the first kill I've done with melee build, and here we are getting the combat achievement for it. As the series continues, I'll do my best to try and get all the combat achievements for the boss we're doing that day. Honestly, the luck I've had is surreal. I'm not sure how we're going to be able to top the first half of the video. Melee build seems to be going okay, but honestly I feel like I was killing much faster using ranged. To be fair though, I was using Diamond Bolts E and I'm saving a lot of money by not having to bring them. Though my drops this half hasn't been that great, here we are hitting a Dragonstone on the rare drop table. This KC right here makes it 600 kills in. I always get a nice little boost of motivation when I can start to see the end. Here we go with a Dragon Medhelm drop, but you know what's weird is that I actually did this random event because there's actually a chance that the kebab that you eat can heal up to 30 if your HP is 99. Unfortunately, it only gave me a 10 point heal, but at least it didn't drain my stats. I went ahead and rolled the dice because I was actually running low on food and just thought it would be a good little boost. Shout out to these two guys, they were actually the first people I've seen trying to kill KVD. Since I was using a looting bag to store all my drops, I went ahead and just used the public instance to save 50k every time I had to go back in. They probably should have right clicked the lever to see if anyone was in here because trying to hop worlds when KVD is smacking you is impossible to do. And I saw that one guy just had auto retaliate, that's so funny. I don't recommend using auto retaliate in the wilderness because that can lead you in some bad situations. But shout out to those two guys anyway because they're the first people I've seen in forever. The wilderness seems a little dead. Doing bosses with friends seems kind of fun. I'm sure it would be if I had friends. You know what I realized I just haven't seen in a while? Were these KBD heads. They're 1 in 128 so they're not super rare but I thought that I'd see more of them by now. Here's a giant PSA to everyone that's doing bossing content. If you're killing a boss that requires you to have a certain type of pot up, you should probably make sure you don't run out, because if you do, stupid things like this happen. I had both pots and food, so I have no one to blame but myself, just added another death to the count. And here I go not learning my lesson because I just got chanced by KBD. I forgot to have protect from melee up, so I had to run with my tail between my legs. Besides the death, really nothing else has happened. This right here is KC number 800. 200 left to go, really not much left to do. 
thanks to using the looting bag to store all my drops, I was able to pick up all the dragon bones and black dehyde. While I will show you guys a profit margin at the very end, sometimes I'll hold on to supplies if it means I can level up since I'm not maxed. Maybe later on I'll do a series where I actually max my account, but since I'm so far in, I really don't know if anyone will want to see that. I may just end up making very small progress videos just to highlight any of the big milestones while we get there. Getting back to the topic of KBD drops, I'm starting to have that thing that happened with Giant Mole where all I'm really getting is the logs again. While it's okay because $20 is $20, U logs being 1 in 12 means that we're going to be seeing a lot of them, I would like some variety. It just makes the grind a little bit more manageable. And thankfully here we are with a rune longsword. Still 1 in 12 so nothing too crazy but it's nice to see something that isn't logs. This kill right here guys is KC number 900. We just have 100 left to go. A shout out to this guy for not only having a funny username but also for being the third person I've seen trying to kill KBD. Really there's not too many people trying to kill this but like I said during Giant Mole guys there's no reason to fight. If someone tries to crash you just hop. Don't let it get you angry. Just move on. There's really no reason. Sure it might be annoying to have to keep hopping to a new world but hopefully that good karma will come back for you. But also if you're in the situation where you come back and someone's already taken that world you're gonna have to hop. That's just how it goes and that's what I did right here. I'm a big believer of the if you move your feet you lose your seat so here I go looking for an empty world. Now I do want to tell y'all to be careful because sometimes there are actually people trying to PK and they'll send a scout into KBD lair to know if there's a person in that world. The best way to know that someone just came into the lair is that KBD will do this funky dance as he tries to target both of you. Most of the time it's just harmless as someone's trying to find an empty world but just in case you should probably be careful when you come back. There's also a clue step where you have to kill KBD for a key so you might see that also. Here we are with another KBD heads being the first unique we've seen in a long time. We're really not having too much luck but we're almost at the end of this grind. Somehow I seem to have this problem where I keep trying to kill KBD before he kills me. Though I guess that's really the point of the entire game. As we get closer to the end of this grind, here we go KBD giving me another dragon medhelm. I'm starting to get a nice little stack of these so I'm actually kind of enjoying it. But you know what I enjoy even more? Big ticket item drops like this. Here we go with another dragon pickaxe. I've gotten super lucky with these. I wish this was my iron account. Now this is actually a really interesting drop guys. This is the rarest item on the rare drop table. In 1 in 5672 it's the dragon spear. I'm actually okay with getting this. Could it have been another visage? Yes. Could it have been another pet? Also yes. Wait, why am I okay with getting this again? Drops are nothing but meaningless code with no monetary value but try telling my dopamine that because here we go with another dragon pickaxe drop. Is it a bad time to say that my dad works at Jagex? I can literally feel RuneScape just turning down the difficulty dial for me guys because not even 10kc later here we go with another dragon pickaxe. At this point it's kind of ridiculous. I'm not gonna turn down free GP but if I peek at the beginning of the series what is there left to do? But with that said guys, we've done it. This right here is KC number 1000. What a crazy way to start and then to end this video. Let's get back to the GE so we can price check everything that we've gotten and see the total profit. Just like in my other videos, I'll be using Runelite's loot tracker to double check everything I've gotten. It's insane that I actually got 5 dragon pickaxes. Looking at all the drops we've gotten, our revenue is about 27.5. So let's go ahead and minus cost of supplies to see how much we've made in terms of profit. But before we get to the total cost and profit made, let's go ahead and take a look at our collection log. We are ending at 1085 and we have actually gotten every single item that we could from KBD. It's really nice to see these green logs and a special shout out to this little boy. With that said, let's get back to what people care about most, the money. In terms of supplies, we only used about 4.6 mil, so our total profit made was about 22.9. Not a bad day's work. If you've made it this far, thank you so much for sticking around. Make sure to like this video and hopefully see you guys soon. We have an interesting one you guys might enjoy. Stay tuned.